times and we're pushing for it and just hoping that it comes soon. It's a common sight here in the Queen City. Western New Yorkers with the ride sharing app Uber on their phones, yet no service in the area. A lot of times people coming in from out of town are very surprised that we don't have, but it makes us feel like we're behind the time. As it stands now, ride sharing is currently illegal in upstate New York because of state insurance laws, but a proposed amendment is looking to change that. Well, right now, Uber would not be eligible to operate in the city of Buffalo as per the city of Buffalo ordinances. So what we're hoping to do is get ahead of the curve. North District Council Member Joseph Golombic says his city ordinance is proactive. He says his municipal law would create a level playing field between ride sharing companies and taxi services in terms of licensure, taxes and background checks for drivers. All in case New York State makes the service legal. If and when, and I believe it's when, Albany ends up approving them for the rest of New York State, we would be able to, if Albany does it on Monday, we'd be able to approve it on Tuesday. Golombic's proposal has gained the support from several of his colleagues on council and a surprising player in the taxi industry. I welcome them here tomorrow. The president of Liberty Cab says Councilman Golombic's proposal is a step forward for the city. He says he supports the presence of ride-sharing companies if they are required to adhere to the strict regulations taxi companies do. We are not against them. I think the conversation between the two sides was is well way overdue. So what's next? This proposal is now being sent to the mayor and a legislative committee. The council member says he doesn't expect the proposal to pass immediately, but remains hopeful this is a step forward for the Queen City. I'm live in downtown Buffalo, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Sierra.